Hello. I just wanted to quickly share my experiences with rescuing my personal data from an external WD MyBook drive. I believe the unit was damaged by a power spike caused by me plugging it into the mains. Unfortunately, this unit doesn't have its own power switch, so this is always a risk. Especially if, like me, you have things like your PC plugged into the same supply, and powering everything down just so you can plug a drive in is a bit annoying. Anyway, as you may or may not know, WD and many other manufacturers insist on using hardware encryption on these drive enclosures, so you can't simply take the bare drive out and plug it into your motherboard. When I did this, Windows recognised the drive, but couldn't read it, which at least told me the drive was still working. I troubleshot the problem down to the control board inside the enclosure. I'm no specialist, so I couldn't determine which of the components on the board had gone bad. However, I am here to reassure you that by buying a second-hand drive of the same variety on eBay, I was able to successfully access the data using the control board from the donor drive. Here's a brief rundown of what I did. Open both of the external hard drives. I had to use a fair bit of force with a screwdriver and ended up snapping the plastic clips at the back, but I considered my data to be more important than the warranty. I carefully popped the drive and the control board assemblies out of the chassis, then, using my flat screwdriver, carefully pried the optical plastic thing for the LED light out of this screw hole. Next, remove the single screw that holds the control board to the drive. Then, holding the board by its edges firmly, unplug it from the drive's SATA and power plug. Next, reverse the process, except this time plug the new control board into your old hard drive. Don't forget to screw it into the drive as well, as this will prevent strain on the connections of the drive when you plug the USB and power cable in. Personally, I didn't wait to put the drive enclosure back together, as I was eager to see if it had worked. But in hindsight, this might have been a bad idea if you have a cat. The transfer of data to my rescue drive took about a day and a half over USB 2. Plenty of time for my cat to find it and investigate the inner workings of my hard disk. Hence the bottle of lavender oil standing guard. Thankfully, everything worked out fine. I transferred everything to the new external hard drive and then formatted the original WD drive back to a standard Windows simple volume. I then installed it inside my PC before copying the encryption-free data back onto it keeping the new external hard drive as a backup. One final thing, when searching for the donor drive, I couldn't find any cheap identical 3TB units for sale, so I bought the 2TB variant of the same product line instead, which did work. According to my research, the 1, 2 and 3TB drives all share the same control board, just make sure you find the same product number. This particular number will vary depending on the drive capacity. If you're in the same situation I was last week, I hope this helped.